I had a family member die of cancer at a very young age, so that probably influenced my career. So I really learnt that clinical trials were the best way to accelerate um, discoveries and bring those discoveries to patients in the clinic. Since the sequencing of the human genome in the mid-80s, we've really seen this technological revolution and we now understand cancer in a much better way than we did in the past because we have the technology that can do that. And the next biggest revolution really in the last five years has been the development of immunotherapy. So immunotherapy doesn't act on the tumour but acts on the patient to reactivate their immune system to treat or to fight the cancer. So these drugs uh, have really resulted in a paradigm shift in the way we treat cancer and I think these, the implementation of immunotherapies for breast cancer treatment will also improve survival and result in cures of more patients with breast cancer. So breast cancer remains the biggest killer of women under the age of 65. It's completely devastating for young women and their families and their children. I think with the advances that we've made, we really can anticipate a cure for breast cancer in the next 10 to 20 years. And I think the more people we have involved in research, more patients on clinical trials, that's really going to accelerate that.